Hi, sorry about that. Had a little connection problem. But this is a new segment called Around the Coffee Pot. Got my cup of coffee. Hurry up, get your cup of coffee as well. And uh, we're going to talk about um, Wendy Williams fainting. Now, I want to combine food and news. Uh, sometimes some situation will ha happen, and uh, we can actually take a look at it and see some way to... Uh, be able to connect food to uh, some news stories that are out there as well. And uh, so I want to talk about Wendy Williams. Yesterday she had a show and on her show she was uh, dressed up as the uh, Statue of Liberty. And at the end of the show, she fainted. And it was trending all day yesterday, even on today. Uh, she came out and talked about the situation that happened with her and the fact that uh, she... Uh, that she fainted. And I want to kind of just talk about not necessarily Wendy Williams herself. Um, I'm not really a Wendy Williams fan or really even follow the show or anything like that. Um, but more so some tips and tricks for us uh, to make sure we don't find ourselves in the same situation that she found herself in and that we, we won't be trending all day long because uh, somebody captured you fainting. And Hippocrates stated that food is medicine. Food is medicine. And, uh, you know, Hippocrates is the um, uh, one that's attributed to today's, um, you know, medical. You know, he's the founder of, of today's modern medicine. And, uh, and so we, we, one of the things that he stated is that food is medicine. Sometimes I think we forget about that. Um, that our bodies, sometimes we run our bodies until they kind of go. Uh, I know oftentimes I've skipped breakfast, skipped lunch, and I'm running, 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 and even forget to eat and things of that nature. And what, what happens is this is body, it's just like any other, any other uh, instrument that if you continue to use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, at some point it's going gonna, it's gonna to give out. And so I want to kind of talk about some tips and some strategies and some things to help us so that our bodies don't give out on us. Uh, let me get online. I see some people go, jumping on board so we can make this a little interactive as well. This is a new program, like I'm saying, that's called Around the Coffee Pot. Um, not quite sure how often I'm going to do it. I might do it uh, every morning. And uh, I think I'm going to do it every morning, except, of course, Friday morning, which Friday morning, if you don't know, stay here, right here at Real Home Cooking, 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a live cooking show tomorrow. We're going to be cooking chicken cordon bleu, chicken cordon bleu, and Pony Boy, uh, he has uh, requested that, and... Um, so Ponyball Curtis, a.k.a. Don, and he, he uh, requested that. So we're going to cook that on tomorrow. So we hope that you're going to join us for that cooking show at 11 o'clock a.m. right here. But as I stated today, we're going to be talking. We're talking about Wendy Williams fainting and how to make sure that we don't find ourselves in that same situation. One of the main things that happens is... Um, that, that probably is the cause of most fainting attacks is dehydration. Our bodies are such that we, you know, we're, we're mostly made up of water. And uh, I don't know about you, but there are so many times where, man, I, I don't know if I drank a water all day. I'm constantly reminding my children, drink some water, drink water, drink water. And um, what happens is as the body dehydrates, course you're going to get lightheaded you're going to you know fall down you know you can do a lot of things the body needs all of that to push toxins out of your body in order to regulate so many things within your body so you need to drink at least eight glasses of water a day and uh and that has to be a discipline i've, I've started matter of fact well here here's my water jug and so I try. I fill this up every day, and I'm trying to drink a gallon of water every day. Now, unfortunately, this is the water that was left over from yesterday that I 
didn't drink the whole gallon, but I'm also getting water, you know, as I'm drinking coffee. Hello, coffee. As I'm drinking coffee, as you're drinking other drinks, you're also getting water as well. So it's not, you know, you're getting that liquid as well. So uh, I'm pretty sure I got at least a gallon of water on yesterday. But trying to get into that discipline is, is important to at least help your body to uh, regulate itself. And then, of course, eating correctly. As we said, food is medicine. So you want to make sure you're eating properly. Um, you're having, you know, I mean, I'm not necessarily a proponent that you have to have three meals, snacks, all this kind of things, but we want to eat. We want to make sure that we're refueling the body and uh, we want to make sure that we're doing all the things that are necessary to, to that, that this temple of ours uh, has what it needs in order to survive. If you're not putting gas in that car, guess what's going to happen? That's right. The car is going to break down. So... Uh, we, we've got to take care of that. That's right, Tan. Drinking a gallon of water a day, it is a lot. Um, but it's not, it's not too much. It's what our body needs. It's, hard, it's a hard discipline. Uh, but once, we, once you get into it, you actually see uh, the great benefits. Google when, when you can uh, the benefits of drinking a gallon of water a day. And a lot of people who have even done YouTube blogs and posts about drinking a gallon of water and the things that they've noticed in their body, their, their hair, their skin is better, their uh, uh, bowel movements are better. Um, just so much changes because of the fact that you get that gallon of water a day. So while it is tough, um, it is, it, you know, we are able to do it. Wow, what did I, I saw something about rolling eyes on here. What is that? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Something that popped up on the screen. I, I've never, never seen that before. I see W. Dave got his eyes up. He says a carrot. I'm not understanding that. W. Dave, what do you mean? Carrots and coffee? Question mark. What does that mean? Carrots and coffee? Uh, okay. I don't know. Don't know what, what we're talking about, but um, he will explain it in just a moment. Uh, water, eating right. Also, one of the main things is the fact that you don't want to, to be overindulging in that alcohol. Uh, alcohol dehydrates your body at a very fast rate, and uh, it takes a lot to process it and get all of that alcohol back out of your, uh, out of your system. And so if, if you have a long night, you're out there, uh, of course, you're setting yourself up for a great fall as well. So make sure that you're very moderate in your alcohol usage and that when you do drink alcohol, that you're also drinking, uh, replenishing yourself with water and lots of it. Lots of it. And also put a little bit of sea salt in there as well. Um, and th that will also help you as well. And then also honey. Honey is another tool that you can use. Um, if you're not feeling well and you're feeling, you know, like fainting, I remember I went, I was at a store one day and I was really feeling lightheaded and woozy and, uh, one of the, and I, I'm not diabetic or anything like that, but you can also have those same type of symptoms if you're not eating right and if you're constantly letting your body go, your insulin levels and sugar levels aren't, are, are not at the right place. And so uh, sometimes eating something that will kind of just give you that little boost drinking a can of soda, um, but a more natural way would be to just take some honey and, uh, and drink some honey. And uh, maybe a good tablespoon of, of honey is a more natural way to get your sugar levels up and kind of balance everything out as well. So that, that's pretty, pretty much it. I mean, you know, once again, maintaining your body, you know, of course, exercise is always, is always the great thing. Um, but, uh, I just wanted to kind of bring that thought to us that, uh, we, we need to maintain this temple and do it in the right way, feed it the right things. And if you feed your body the right thing, don't forget food is medicine. Food is medicine. And, uh, so I'm actually going to be probably talking about some different foods, uh, their impact on our body. Yeah, I, I keep promising I'm going to make this ginger tea, and I haven't done it as of yet. Um, 
but ginger and turmeric, some wonderful things. And I wanna, wanna show you some of the great benefits of those uh, as well. So uh, this is just our first installment around the coffee pot. I'm drinking uh, some nice coffee and uh, glad to have you once again in my home. Uh, glad to have you here and, and hope that uh, this time uh, together was fruitful. Um, praying God's blessings upon you and your family. And until next time, Domingo, I'm out. Don't forget, be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, hold on a second. Let me get, let me get up close. Tomorrow, tomorrow, 11 o'clock, right here, Real Home Cooking. We're going to be doing our Friday Food Wishes show. Um, and so we're going to be cooking chicken cordon blue on tomorrow. So I want to see you there, 11 o'clock. If you haven't subscribed to this channel as of yet, what are you waiting for? Come on, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and then also hit the bell. Click on that bell and get the notification so whenever we go live that you're right here to be able to experience it as well. Hope to see you on tomorrow. I'm looking forward to you and also share this with others. Let them know about this real home cooking phenomenon, this movement that we're a part of, all right? God bless. Take care. Until next time.